as content creators from Teso sub-region and Uganda at large. During our special visit to Soroti City, we decided to pay a visit at the multi-billion Soroti University, located around Arapai Ward in Soroti City, approximately 8 kilometers by road, northeast of the central business district of the city of Soroti, along Soroti Amuria Road, and 296 kilometers by road, northeast of Kampala, Uganda's capital, and sits on 200 acres of land near the campus of Teso College, Aloyet. The university was established by the government of Uganda in June 23, 2015, following the lobbying by stakeholders from Teso sub-region. While in the university, we were taken through by the university public relations officer, Juma Hassan Yene, and other staff. Oh, hello, guys. So we're actually moving around, uh, uh, taking a tour around the university. This is how beautiful it is. So in case it's your first time to watch any of my videos, make sure I hit on the subscription bell or button so each time i upload any of my new any, any of my new videos will actually be the first to actually be notified so you can actually check on at the background and see how beautiful it is so in the case you're still in senior six and you, you finish up with a uh, with the secondary level i think you should actually consider joining uh, this university once you learn into this university what is so unique is that once you step into this university the first thing that comes to your mind is actually success and passing it's so unique it has a very special kind of buildings you might end up even uh, i don't know what how to explain but uh, when you once you're done checking out of uh checking out this video you'll actually come up with uh, a decision that you should actually join Soroti university it's uh, one of the best university it offers the science courses so in case it's your first time watching make sure you subscribe tell me what you think about uh, this content tell me, tell me about what you think about this video drop down a comment as we take you through a uh, tour in this university the university has a well-equipped library with lots of research books for the students to equip themselves with knowledge and also an e-learning library with a number of sites where they can get information from. Uh, Wi-Fi, that connect and can access the information. We have uh, what we call the e-library that you, you download materials from the website. We have, uh, we have um, subscribed to very many websites that give us information and a data for students to, to raise it. As I speak, I'm actually moving around the uh, university building. This is how beautiful it is. Uh, the university has a number of uh, books. Number of books. If your son loves to research, definitely this is the uh, best university for you to actually come in. There's a lot of uh, content here for the students. And see, most of the books are based on science, science books. Here, so. This is how beautiful the place is. You can actually move into the university. Uh, do your research. This is how beautiful the place is. You can actually check out. There are enough chairs here. There are enough enough chairs here. You can see how high, how organized it is. That means more than a hundred students can come in here and do. Uh, the uh, uh, the library is also having a security surveillance. That means that. Receiving the CCTV camera, and of course, uh, to ensure that uh, the temperature inside is uh, is being uh, uh, like uh, controlled and sealed with an AC. That means even if you're having examination fever, and uh, you are sweat, someone who is having that sweat or examination fever, with the presence of the AC here, you can come in. Then you can uh, actually uh, ensure that uh, the AC is on to. Uh, regulate the temperature that means will actually be 
it's all good to go. So this is how beautiful it is. Make sure you hit on the subscribe button or bell so that each time I, I continue uploading my videos, you'll you'll actually not miss any episode of any of my videos. So this is how beautiful uh, the university is. This is how beautiful the library is. I'm I'm already falling in love with this this uh, university. I think I should actually see how to uh, get an admission here. <laughs> university is just so good, guys. So this is how beautiful. So in case you're outside there, make sure you hit on the subscribe bell button. Uh, so I think you're seeing, I was I was actually trying to explain to you guys how organized the place is. It has a, a number of uh, uh, good furniture and see good chairs here. So that is how organized it is. The university has a, like the staff here also sits in an organized place. I've visited a number of libraries in uh, different institutions, but uh, uh, this one here, Happens to be one unique one. Happens to be one unique one that you should actually come over and pay a visit. It's a public university. The hospitality here is just so great. We received the, uh, we actually received the uh, good faith, and uh, I can testify to you that we actually enjoying being here. So make sure you hit on the subscription button right now. Subscribe now. Subscribe now, or else you will be hungry for one week. like but that's where we're actually moving into right now here uh, being escorted by uh, one of the staff members which are taking us with so that's what actually we are going to uh, to check out right now it place is so large we never expected to uh, get all this but uh, we're still moving So guys, you should, you, you should be a bit surprised where I am right now, where I'm standing from right now. Behind me, you're actually observing and seeing a number of computers inside. You could be asking yourself, where is this gentleman standing from? Is he in a cafe or what? No, not in a cafe. I mean, uh, uh, what you call a virtual, a virtual library. This is a library whereby most of the resources here are electronic. That means compared to the other uh, library, where you you go in and of course get a number of books in this library it's majorly computers this is where you get uh, like uh, soft information soft information what do i mean by soft information this is information where you research online and then of course use it for your own for your own good or maybe for your own uh, uh for your own use rather so this is actually what happens inside there it's well organized well stationed and of course it has a number of electronic resources this is an they have they have actually subscribed to uh, a number of uh, service providers i see there is google uh google scholar there is a digital library there is a bioline international i see a number of them actually the university has actually subscribed to that means that uh, the university is actually well stocked with a number uh, with a lot of content, a lot of content, this is actually what happens inside here. So make sure you drop down a comment what you think about uh, the man, billion Soroti University, located in uh, Soroti City. That's where the university is actually located. The university located in Soroti City with a number of students here enjoying this kind of services. Six first stories. Being, being, in a, being in a university is actually not all about you uh, being in a university 
that has a very big name, a very uh, famous name. But being in, in a university, what you should actually consider is the learning materials that are inside the university. How do they look like? Are they of good value? Are they up to date? So I am actually in, inside uh, the learning, the, one of the learning rooms in Soros University. And of course, this is what I thought this house looks like. It's so conducive and of course, so great. This is how it looks like. So make sure, drop down a comment. What do you think about Soros University? This is how beautiful it is. Basic electronics to students, we have different instruments which serve different purposes. For example, this is a meter which can meter uh, pressure, voltage, current, resistance, temperature, capacitance. And here we have a generator which can generate different types of signals, um, those which are square, those which are nice and small, we call them size. Then we have a breadboard where students can use and um, can build circuits. They take small components and place them here and wire them together. And here is a power supply which provides different voltages for powering. And this is an oscilloscope, it's like a display for equipment which is obtained. Um, what students build or from standard test boards like this one. And uh, it can uh, take many types of signals here. We have uh, can have signals, uh, digital signals, which are very many. They can be up to 16. And um, you can connect all this, for example, to that instrument there for display purposes. And uh, some of the experiments use other different sources of signals. So, for example, this one can have a noise also source. Different common fault signals. You can simulate, for example, the behavior of a signal uh, which has been digitized because uh, the world is going digital and everything has to go digital, and then after that, it is processed, for example, to be transmitted to a different location. Okay, sir. Here, where we are currently, is uh, the, the skills lab. So, we have two skills labs basically. We have um, the nursing skills lab the other side, and then the midwifery skills lab. Mm. The midwifery skills lab, we start, um, we train students basically on the clinical aspects when a mother is planning to become pregnant, when then when the mother becomes pregnant, we go to continental. So, we also simulate that here. Then after that, we go on. Now when a mother reaches term, is ready to deliver, then we also teach our students, as you can be able to see inside here. We have, uh, have a mannequin here, called my wife's mannequin. It has about nine mothers in it. So we connect it to power, and then we are able to, to give it the push to deliver. And in whichever 
type of delivery which she wants, whether it is normal delivery or abnormal. So we call simulate that here. It can even be able to view. Uh, so we just package it well, and then we are able to what? To feed it to that. Yes. So how do you call it? It's called Noel's mannequin. Noel's? Mannequin, yes. Mannequin. Uh, it, it can deliver? Yeah, it can deliver. So how do you put in a baby inside like that? So the baby is inside like you've seen. The baby is pregnant. Yeah. So now, because during pregnancy, mm. we keep on monitoring these mothers. And like we keep on monitoring how this baby is growing inside, mm. how this baby, uh, the, the little hearts, in, like the heart of the baby inside in this mother, we can also put it there and then we are able to watch, we are able to do that. And then palpate what we call leopards maneuvers for everything about that. And then now after that, when it is time to deliver, just connect it to power and then we, we, we time and then it keeps on pushing and then it delivers the baby cries and then we put all that we simulate here. So the baby the baby that is delivered they also, from me also cries. Yes. This yeah. is, this is yes. 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 Mm. <laughs> so then the other side is for nursing. Mm. It also has a lot of uh, other mannequins. Mm. On top of that we simulate we, we show or we, we have partitioned it in two words mm -hmm. uh, right from the outpatients department when we admit uh, our patients in the unit then we go on to now be able to triage we then do triage after triaging then now we can be able to allocate them that for you your case is a surgical case so you go to the surgical ward your case is a medical case go to the medical ward or maybe your case uh, needs um, ICU, intensive care unit, then we also take that patient to the ICU. So we also have other equipment which we use the other in that, in each of the department. And then the pediatric unit, um, we also have all that in our skills lab here. The PRO of the university, Juma Hassan Nyene, explained to us uh, the number of courses that are being offered currently in the university. Nyeni Juma Hassan, I'm a senior communications officer at Soroti University. Um, Soroti University is uh, a government university. Um, it offers basically uh, science and technology related courses. Uh, currently, we are having uh, three programs that are, that are running. We are having a uh, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. We are having a um, Bachelor of Nursing Science. And then we are having a Bachelor of um, Electronics, Bachelor of Engineering, Electronics and, and Computer Engineering. Um, so Rot University started the first admission of the pioneer students and that started in 2019. But unfortunately, um, 2019, uh, 2020, they're about we had um, corona, um, the COVID came in and we closed um, all the government, all, all the learning institutions were closed. So right now we have our pioneer students in um, senior four, they're start, I mean, in, their, in year four, they're starting their year four in, um, in August. And right now we are having um, the uh, admission of of new students going on. The shortlist for the government-sponsored government students are out. Uh, you can view our website and find um, those students uh, that are admitted in the government. We also have um, the, the diploma entry scheme, the diploma entry scheme applications. We advertised and then uh, people applied. And right now, the shortlist is also out. We are expecting our students to report uh, in, um, in August for their first semester of 2023-2024 academic year. And then we are also uh, very soon before the end of this month, we're going to release um, the shortlist uh, for those who have been admitted to Furot University on a private, private scheme, direct entry. Direct entry means those who are coming from uh, senior six to university now, right now, we are in the process of um, offering more two uh, 
programs that we believe um, maybe by January we should be able to, to advertise for students to report. Uh, that is a Bachelor of uh, Biomedical Engineering Sciences. Then um, we also have a um, Bachelor of um, Electronics and um, Mechanical Engineering. We feel the area of engineering is very key and we have state-of-the-art equipment for our, our students. We believe uh, medicine is very key and we have state-of-the-art equipment for the medical students and we believe we are contributing strongly to um, giving the best for this country in terms of training engineers, electrical, mechanical, computer engineering, we want to train the best. We are interested in having the best students getting out there to practice medicine and practice nursing and biomedical uh, lab technology sciences. We should be able to have the best students coming out. So um, this is Sorot University. We are um, uh, government aided. It's a government institution. We are right now waiting for a team from the National Council for Higher Education to come and inspect our facilities for the two programs that we are, are going to, to run uh, probably in, in January when they come and they, they see that we have uh, every equipment that we need, every facility that we need in place, then we are going to um, make sure that we, we, we advertise. Um, electrical and electronics engineering, We've decided that that program, electronics and electrical engineering, it is what we feel we need to close that gap. We have many students, we have many people out there who are so knowledgeable in electrical, but they do not have any knowledge in electronics. Now, these are two different things. Electricals and electronics are two different things. And we therefore feel someone who has knowledge in electrical should be able to have knowledge in electronics uh, so that you are able to 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 uh, get the equipment you repair you go and have things that are um, um, related with electricity and you should be able to have your knowledge on that so that's why we are, we are passionate about uh, um, giving value closing the gaps some of these courses are designed as a result of extensive uh, research and, 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 and guided um, interventions to make sure that we close the unemployment gap, we close the knowledge gap that are existing, that when the student gets out there, they have uh, all round knowledge to help them maneuver through um, uh, the aspect of, of, of getting employment, but, but also to make sure that even when you are unable to find a formal employment, you are able to create a job for yourself. And, and, and these courses are, are very, very practical that gives you the opportunity to, to, to find a job for yourself. That's why we have decided to say it is not only computer engineering. We have said to say computer and electronics engineering because you can tell that if you can repair um, 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 computer, then you should be able to repair electronics, any other electronics that is not necessarily a com computer. If you are able to do um, um, electricals, then it is also better that you learn how to, to do electronics so that it is easier for you to, to find a market.